Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe different cardiovascular diseases. You should then be able to evaluate the different methods of treating cardiovascular diseases. Now cardiovascular diseases are diseases of the heart and blood vessels. A key feature of these is that they are non-communicable. In other words, they're not infectious. They cannot be passed from person to person. A good example of a cardiovascular disease is coronary heart disease, and we're going to look at that first. In an earlier video, we saw that the coronary arteries branch out of the aorta, and they spread out into the heart muscle. The purpose of the coronary arteries is to provide oxygen to the muscle cells of the heart. The oxygen is then used in respiration to provide the energy for contraction. In coronary heart disease, layers of fatty material build up inside the coronary arteries. This causes the coronary arteries to narrow. The effect of this is to reduce the flow of blood through the coronary arteries. This results in a lack of oxygen for the heart muscle. In extreme cases, this can result in a heart attack, where the heart is starved of oxygen and this can be fatal. There are two common treatments for coronary heart disease. Statins are drugs which reduce the level of cholesterol in the blood. This slows down the rate that fatty materials build up in the arteries. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to statins. Statins have been proven to reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. In other words, statins are an effective treatment. However, statins do have some unwanted side effects. For example, they can cause liver problems. Now in some people, coronary heart disease can cause almost a total blockage of a coronary artery. These people can be treated using a stent like this. A stent is a tube which is inserted into the coronary artery to keep it open. The advantage of inserting a stent is that the blood can flow normally through the artery. However, a stent will not prevent other regions of the coronary arteries from narrowing. It does not treat the underlying causes of the disease. Another type of cardiovascular disease concerns the heart valves. Sometimes these valves do not fully open, so the heart has to pump extra hard to get the blood through. This can cause the heart to enlarge. Other times the valves are leaky, which can cause the patient to feel weak and tired. When heart valves are faulty, we can replace them either with a mechanical valve made of metal, or a valve from an animal such as a pig. Mechanical valves can last a lifetime, but they increase the risk of blood clots, so patients have to take anti-clotting drugs. Valves from animals do not last as long and may need to be replaced. However, patients do not need to take drugs. In some patients with cardiovascular disease, the heart cannot pump enough blood around the body. This is called heart failure. These patients are sometimes given a donated heart or a donated heart and lungs. Now there are two problems here. Firstly, there are not enough donated hearts available to treat every patient. Secondly, the patient must take drugs to stop the donated heart from being rejected by the body's immune system. Now sometimes a patient can be given an artificial heart as a temporary solution while waiting for a heart transplant, or simply to allow their damaged heart to rest. Artificial hearts increase the risk of blood clotting and they're not a long-term solution to heart failure. They can only be used for a relatively short time. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on cardiovascular diseases in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe different cardiovascular diseases. You should then be able to evaluate the different methods of treating cardiovascular diseases.